we here at IGN Live may not be getting the guest we need right now, but we are getting the one we deserve. Hey. To talk about the all new Telltale Batman series, please welcome Job Stauffer. Hey guys, how's it going? Hi. I basically compared you to Batman, so. I mean, that's, I mean, uh, that's pretty high. Comparisons. Thank you. It's a good one. It's a yeah. really, really You're good totally one. You're totally wrong, but that's <laughs> fine. I'll take it. Season two of uh, Batman, The Enemy Within, is that the name of the whole uh, series or just the first Yeah, that, that's, that's effectively our season two, is Batman, The Enemy Within, just announced yesterday along yeah. with two other series coming for 2018. Yep. Uh, you've been seeing a lot of it here at the uh, IGN San Diego Comic-Con live stream. And, yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, in our teaser trail yesterday, you know, we, we saw, we heard John Doe's voice, John Doe, who the fans know as the Joker, uh -huh. eventually become the Joker, uh, is saying that he's been, he's been traveling and he's been making a few friends and some, uh, some question marks seem to be peering on those screens and uh, confirming yes. Things. So we have the Riddler and um, I think we actually brought you guys an exclusive first look at the game and this That's is, uh, is going to be Jim Gordon and Batman and... Uh, uh, I guess saying hello to our new friends. So. All right, well, we don't want to spoil this first uh, yeah. look at Batman, the enemy within for you, so we're going to roll this right now. What the hell? Congratulations. You're almost done. That is, if you can withstand my short-range ultrasonic device. Let's test it out, shall we? The riddle! You should go for the same! I'm gonna stop to make your damn choice! Just in case. Damn. Now, oh, for the love of God, whatever's in that safe better be worth all this pain. It's a homing missile. Maury sold me missiles for all of my enemies. Everyone on my list gets one. Turn yourself in while well, you still have a chance. Don't say stupid things, okay? You don't have what it takes to be a player in this town. Not without giving up those values you hold so dear. Game on! Cool. That was an exclusive first look at gameplay oh. in season two of Telltale's Batman, The Enemy Within. Uh, what's, what's the Riddler up to here? So he's, he's working with John Doe right now. And that, yeah. That's kind of where, where we're left off the season one. You don't have to have played it, but you, you need to know that at, at the very least, our canon, it's our own story, it's our own take on Batman. Bruce has found out that his parents, you know, in every other canon, there were these great people and remembered very fondly, taken down to Crime Alley. Same thing happens in our story, but Bruce finds out that they were actually corrupt themselves. Oof. So in our story, Bruce is, is, is kind of meeting these villains on a more interpersonal level, mm -hmm. you know, meeting them as Bruce to John Doe and as Bruce to these other alter egos. And uh, he's going to quickly find out that Riddler has actually, not much of a spoiler, Riddler knows or knew Bruce's parents back in the day. So as, as, as we explore his character and his family's history, we're going to find out that, you know, a lot of people were out for the Wayne family and they were into some, some not so good things. And, uh, and yeah, John Doe, Joker, Riddler, some other villains we're not spoiling. They're all going to be showing up in season two and the enemy within. And uh, it's all going to have our own take on it, just like in season one, sure. where mm -hmm. everyone expected Penguin to be this short, you know, round, like, wah, wah, guy. But he was, yeah. you know, he was, uh, our fans turned to calling him Cobble Hot, because he was this kind of, like, you know, attractive, yeah. like, kind of suave, yeah. you know, CEO type. And, uh, yeah, so that's uh, a lot of surprises. Uh, and it's coming out on August 8th, so it's, yeah. it's really yeah, soon. It's right around the corner. Yeah, rolling right into season two. Yeah. Well, and speaking of surprises, the yes. last episode of season one kind of ended with the Joker saying, mm -hmm. I don't know how I'll top myself, but I'm going to try. Where, when was the moment for you guys where you decided it's not going to be just the Joker? We are going to bring the Riddler in and have him really be the villain? Well, I mean, who really is the villain is still the question. 
And to spoil that now. Pun intended, yeah. the question yes. mark. Hmm. <laughs> um, I, I think all, you know, as soon as we, you know, talking to DC and Warner Brothers, and as soon as they gave us the go ahead to really put our own spin on this universe, all the ideas just started coming yeah. out of the writers' rooms. And, you know, it's just a dream come true, like, you know, sure. for us to be working on this and also. You know, all these comic properties that we have going on. We just announced we have the third episode of Guardians of the Galaxy is hitting this August 22nd. And uh, also this week we announced we're going to be doing our final season of The Walking Dead. Right, yeah. So that's going to be in 2018. Yeah, that's um, yeah. Playing as Clementine again. Okay. Uh, you're going to see her story arc come to wow. where it's going to go to in the fourth season. I don't know if my heart <laughs> can handle it. Yeah. Everyone's assuming things are going to happen, but, you know. You just have to play it. And nothing's see. happened yet. Yeah. Um, so and you finally announced the second season of Wolf Among Us. Finally, oh yes. Yeah. Three, years yeah, of, three, yeah, right. three years of fans, you know, asking about that, and our lips have been sealed. Yeah. But uh, sealed no more as of yesterday. You know, 2018, probably the second half. We want to make sure our fans know what to expect. Won't be, you know, mm -hmm. we're just, we're already getting, is it January 1st yet, 2018? But no, it'll be sometime in the second half after The Walking Dead's uh, fourth and final season premieres. We've just got like a back-to-back a -back year of, uh, you know, nonstop, awesome, you know, comic-related stories that we're working on. And you guys have a lot of, what is it, plates up in the air? Is that the, is that the plates phrase? Plates in the air, yes. Plates, yes. but, you know, we've, we've grown. And a, a lot of our success we really owe to comic books. And, you know, yeah, sure. Telltale, you know, more than 12 years ago was here at Comic-Con. You know, talking to Steve Purcell and Sam Max at the road, and yeah. that just grew and grew. And you know, we met Robert Kirkman and talked about doing Walking Dead, and he was like, "Yeah, you know, big fan of you guys yeah. and Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people." Let's make I some love games. Games. <laughs> that's still one of my favorite games you guys yeah. have done. Yeah, yeah, that's well, uh, go ahead. no, I mean, like, <laughs> that's just the magic of Comic Con. Yeah. We come here, we meet so many fans, we meet so many of our creative partners, and uh, we love coming here. We love talking to everyone, and we're we're just really excited to be doing everything we're doing. So. What I love so much about these games, too, is it feels like a very different form of gameplay. So for people who maybe play your traditional games, you know, this one is very different. It's very, it feels interactive. Mm -hmm. It's much more story-oriented. You feel like you are a part of this almost cinematic yeah. world. And that's, that's, I mean, and we have that, that feature in Batman now in all of our games going forward, crowd play. Right. So we, just like we did premiere right here at the Hard Rock, Rock last year for Batman Season 1, you can get together with your friends, just a couple people on the couch, or do it in a big movie yeah. theater, and everyone can control the story from their cell phone. Oh, that's yeah. so good. And they can actually now play over Mixer if they're live streaming. They can, you can stream your game to your audience, and your audience can interact and yeah. play and make decisions live. It just gets better and better. That's really good. Uh, any new uh, any casting? Announcements to share for mm. season two for Batman. For Batman yeah. is specifically not because specifically we, not. We want to keep some of these casting, <laughs> some of these players under wraps for a while. Um, uh, I will say, character-wise, you know, Riddler, yes, uh, definitely more villains. Amanda Waller is actually a big part of this story as well. Interesting. Um, and it's interesting because she's got a lot of clout, and it's I don't want to spoil whether she's giving Batman or Bruce a harder time, but she's given definitely a. a, a a twist, yeah. a wrench in the situation. What about right. Catwoman? Uh, will she come back? Do the fans really want Catwoman back? I don't know. I bet she? they do. Yes. Yeah. There's some unresolved business from yeah. season one. I don't know. Um, I tried to bomb. I tried to just like quick bomb him on that you, one. Where I was did like, you, did you were, did you uh, make nice with Catwoman, or did you just? I tried to make. Nice with <laughs> <laughs> you, you messed up. <laughs> that was yeah. That was a uh, that was a huge scene for us in season one, and uh, if she'll come back. Well, I don't know. Okay. We're, we're listening to the fans, and I think there's a very good chance, so well, stay tuned. Thanks for coming by the IGN stage. No problem. Uh, thanks for having us. Episode one of season two of Telltale's Batman is out August 8th. Yeah.